have joy in that. Three reasons why we should expect the best, very quickly. Number one, expect the best because expecting the best honors God. Let's you know that you trust God more than your situation. What are you saying? God, I trust you. God, you're the best daddy ever. I might not understand. Someone said this, when I don't see God's hand, I trust his heart. And we continue to trust God, that God will be glorified in every situation. Come on, we stand in faith. We're trusting God. The great William Carey said this, expect great things from God and attempt great things for God because that brings honor to the Lord. Come on, how how many of you are attempting some great things for God? Maybe it's not working yet, but come on, it's honoring God. It's glorifying God. It's not the end of the story. Expect great things from God and and, and begin to attempt great things for God, and that brings honor to Him. The second reason that we need to expect is because expecting the best increases your ability. Someone said this, your attitude determines your altitude. (laughs) Have you ever... (laughs) Excuse me, ever met someone and they said, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I don't know how, I don't know how. You pretty much cannot say you don't know how in this day and age because you can Google it and figure it out. There's definitely a YouTube video out there somewhere. Come on, how many of you have seen stuff and you didn't know what to do and you went and Googled it? Watched a video and went and do it. I do all the time. Someone said, with electronics or something's not working, I go and Google it. I went camping, you know, a while back and I have this little heater and it was freezing, the heater's not working. And I'm in the middle of the campsite, I'm like, oh my gosh, my heater's not working, what's going on? I shook the thing, I blew on the thing, we prayed over the thing, nothing's working. So I went to YouTube, and I Googled exactly what's happening. Heater turns on and immediately turns off, and they said, oh, there's a little thing that's there. Take a little Q-tip and put some alcohol on it and just rub it on this little thing. And so what I did, I took took a Q-tip, I had one, thankfully. And I took it off, and, and I, I didn't have anything, but I took an a, a, a antibacterial wipe. Come on, that's got alcohol in it. <laughs> the next best thing. Come on. And I put it on there, and guess what? That thing worked beautifully the rest of the night. Don't say you can't know how. There's a way where there's a will. There's a way you can figure it out. Amen. Say, well, it's not working. Well, guess what? You're still learning what not to do. And you need to focus on what to do. It increases your ability. It increases your, your altitude. Yes. As you begin to be expecting that I can do it. I might not know how, but I'm going to figure it out. Amen? Expecting the best increases your ability. The third reason why we expect the best is because expecting the best ex- encourages others. Yes. Come on, I don't know about you, but I like to be around people that are doing it. I like to be around positive people. In the midst of business and real estate or in, in our, our, whatever business I'm doing at that time or in ministry, I want to be around positive people. You know, and, and yeah, we need encouragement. Sometimes we're all struggling and when one struggles, we want to encourage each other. But come on, if you're struggling, don't join the pity party. Don't get around people who are just negative and there's no hope and all they do is feed one another the fire of negativity. Get around people that will tell you, come on, stop it. Come on, dry your tears. Put your eyes back on Jesus. Yes. Are you here? Yes. Believe God. All right, let's get up again. Let's, let's clean our knee. We, you know, bounced our knee. Aren't you glad that when you fell as a three-year-old, you still got up again? Yes. You kept walking. And learned how to get better. Yes. We, we need to be around people like that. The fact is optimism and pessimism are both contagious. If you're around negative people, it will be contagious. You're around positive people, it will be contagious. Well, I'm born a pessimist. Well, change. Are you here? I'm born born a pessimist. I'm just negative, naturally negative. I just see the negative in things. I'm not talking about denying facts. Come on, if the light bulbs all burn out, let's change them. That's not being negative. That's acknowledging we need to do something. But what is it when we take it to another level and we, we just look and we're discouraged and we're frustrated with life? People say, I wish I could have more faith. I wish I could be more positive. I'm just a worrier. How in the world can I become an optimist? Well, get in the word of God. Renew your mind. Get around people that will help you. And that's why I love Bible school. When I was in Bible school, I mean, we're all people of faith. And I mean, you couldn't say a negative word. You know, you say, ah, you said something negative. Someone's like, I bind that in Jesus' name. I take those words and I break the power of those words. Come on. And they start speaking life of you. Stop it. Stop it. Don't say that. Come on, huh? 
It's great around, and I get irritated sometimes, but it helped me. I begin to watch myself when I say something. You know, some of my wife and I, we can come together and, you know, if I'm having a bad day or she's having a bad day, we come together and we say, let's just not talk. Let's just pray. Because <laughs> negativity is coming out. We're dealing with problems. Let's just stop talking right now because this isn't healthy. Let's pray. Let's get into faith. Let's be positive. Come on. Yeah. 